Some brand new guidance from the American Academy of Pediatrics says that there's no need to keep kids home from school if they have lice. Now, it's the first time his guidance has been updated since 2015, and as you can imagine, the reaction has been swift. Our Apollo Soro is here to explain why the organization is now changing its position on lice. Yeah, well, Ron, the AAP says lice is not a health hazard and that keeping students away from school can add stigma and psychological stress. Well, I spoke to a company called Lice Ladies today, which provides professional treatment services. Its owners tell me school nurses will likely have their number on speed dial now. Some days it's Lice Again and the Lice Ladies. Jenny Lassiter expects Lice Again 2.0 at the Lice Ladies this coming year. Now that the American Academy of Pediatrics released this new guidance, it states children or teens can still go to school even if they have head lice, and that quote no knit policies violate a child's civil liberties. We've seen kids that have been held back entire grade levels because of the head lice infestations the parents have been struggling with. You can see some of those infestations in the lice ladies viral videos. As a scientist who developed her own lice treatment products, Jenny sees why this decision could have been made. I do think that that will help with the stigma attached to it, but it most certainly is not a dirty or unclean thing. But as a mom, she sees the other side. I'm torn with it because because I do think that there are instances where children have suffered with it for years and they probably should not be in the classroom. The internet is exploding with reaction from parents and school staff. Some saying this will lead to bullying, others concerned this will keep parents from properly treating their kids for lice. Jenny thinks that with this guidance, insurance companies should cover professional treatment services. I think a lot of parents are worried it's too much money or they're worried that the best friends are going to self-treat and the child will get it right back after spending the money. So I do think that if insurance covered it, it might help. Crazy video right there. Well, Jenny says that with the rise of selfies and head to head contact, they've been seeing more cases with high schoolers and college students as well. So she says the most important thing right now is education. She says to do a five minute weekly check and use lice prevention spray. Well, you can see why it's going to be a controversial conversation on social media. Thanks a lot, Paula.